the computer screen so small I can't see. Um, I, I know this year probably didn't go exactly how you planned when you got here, but what was the experience like here? Oh man, the experience was uh, was top notch. You know, um, you know, I've been blessed to play with a lot of different organizations, and um, I can say this is definitely probably the best experience I've had. Um, and you know, from the ownership on down to uh, you know the cafeteria, <laughs> you know, there's just good people. Um, you know, there's a different mentality that I experienced coming into this building uh, with the team having a record that they had and just kind of seeing how, you know, the coaches and the players continue to approach each week, you know, just really grinding and focusing on, you know, one week at a time and and and, a, and, and looking at it as is this uh, another challenge, an opportunity, I mean, to, to get better, um, you know, so it's, it was an amazing experience for me and I really enjoyed it. Jen. Adrian, it's interesting to talk to a guy who got a chance to play in just one game this year. What is the impact you hoped to make when you signed with the team compared to the impact we know you made when it comes to the practice style and, and how you affected Rashad Penny? You know, uh, coming in initially, I felt like it was a, a great opportunity. Um, you know, I, was, I felt like I had just got my feet under me. And, you know, to come in and, you know, play with Russ and this offense and under Pete Curl, you know, I just envision great things happening. <laughs> and, uh, you know, unfortunately, I ended up getting hurt and uh, it, side, it sidelined me, you know. So I had time to kind of really just reflect and, and um, you know, you know, I know there's a reason for everything, you know, and I always try to take, um, you know, a positive out of a, a negative situation that I'm going through, you know, so that's when I was able just to, you know, kind of accept it for the, for the injury for what it was um, and, and look and see, you know, like what, what, what other reason could I, could I be here? You know, why is this happening? And uh, so, you know, um, just to be able to influence guys and have an impact on the running back room and, and other guys too that, you know, as I sit in my locker room, you know, guys are coming up asking different questions. You know, guys are coming up asking, hey, how do you have this longevity? You know, what are the things that you're that you've done throughout your career? Um, you know, how do I approach this? How do I approach that? You know, it hit me, you know, like, you know, you, you're not doing what you envision that, that you were going to do when you came here. But, you know, you, you are still making an impact. You know, you're able to, you know, give these guys a lot of insight on how to, you know, go through a week, you know, that a lot of guys are really normal, I mean, are used to, to going through, you know. Um, and I, I feel like one of the biggest people that I was able to impact with was Penny, you know, and he he didn't shy away. <laughs> he didn't shy away from asking questions and, 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 and trying to see, pick my brain, hey, well, what are you doing, you know. Um, and not only did he, did he just ask, um, you know, he actually acted off of it as well, you know. He, he, He's been, you know, doing things throughout the week to help, you know, recover his body, um, to keep his body in shape. Um, you know, things that he say, you know what? I, I really wasn't doing things like that, man. You know, I really didn't, you know, I, I didn't know. And um, so, you know, so I, I've, you know, I was able to open him up to some things that I've been doing since I was in Minnesota. And, um, you know, some other things throughout the week that, you know, I, I'm always asking him, hey, did you, did you get this in this week? Did you get that in? And he's like, yeah, I did, man, you know, and uh, I'm feeling good, you know, and, and when you can see the difference, you know, when you're doing something different and you see the, the, the results from doing that, then that makes you believe in it even more, you know. So it was just a blessing to see, you know, to sit back, you know, after it really hit me after about two weeks, like, hey, two or three weeks, like you probably won't be able to get, get back out there. Uh, it was just refreshing to know that, you know, you made an impact in a different way. And, and, and I like to make that and still be able to contribute, but that's what I was able to take from it, and it, it was a blessing still. Bob? Um, yeah, Adrian, do you, do you want to keep playing and have the Seahawks talk to you at all about next year? Um, we haven't really talked about anything yet, you know, because the season, season just ended. Um, but, I, you know, I, I just can't add them 
my seat my my career ending the way that it did you know um you know so with that you know i still i'm going into the off season with the mindset to 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 continue to play you know um i still have love for the game i feel like i can compete at a high level still and um you know with a off season under my belt you know with the mindset because I'm, I'm stronger than i was last year mentally you know with the mindset that i would go into this off season with you know, I feel like I'll be able to do some 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 incredible things. You know, getting healthy and um, you know just kind of grinding this off season with a different mentality. So, you know, as of today, you know I definitely look forward to playing again. All right, last question, uh, Curtis. Yeah, Adrian, with the in influence that you had on, on our shot, I know Pete mentioned he talked to you potentially about coaching down the line. Is that something you eventually? See yourself wanting to do at some point, um, and did kind of the way you imparted your stuff onto uh, Rashad maybe kind of kick you in that direction somewhere down the line? Uh, you know, the funny thing is, I, I, I never really in, in envisioned myself coaching, you know, not on this level uh, or the college level. <laughs> maybe like my son's, you know, little league team or something. Um, but, you know, after talking to Coach Pete, it's something that I've been kind of thinking about. You know, and I you know, talked to my wife as well, and she was like, Adrian, man, like, you are just a different person when, you, when you're around football, you know, and, you know, it shows. And, you know, so it's something that you really should think about and consider, you know. So for the first time, <laughs> um, I've actually thought about it and, you know, considered going in that direction, you know, if I, you know, if and when I'm done playing football, you know, so, um We'll see where the chips fall. Thank you, Adrian. All right. Appreciate you guys.